hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is Kaylee and today we are going to do one of my signature classes one of your favorites sculpt plus flow this class is a combination of body weight sculpt and flowy vinyasa it's really fun really feel good and it will be a full body workout we're not going to use any equipment today as you can see if you like a block or a strap you can go ahead and grab it and let's get started in a child's pose Take the knees wide, toes together. If your low back is feeling sensitive, you could always slide the knees a little bit closer. Totally up to you, listen to your body. You could reach the fingers forward or let them rest by the sides, make a pillow for the head. Wherever you are, close the eyes as a way to start to shut out the external world and tune into your internal. Noticing the quality of the breath today. Noticing what's going on in the mind, the thoughts. And noticing what's going on in the physical body. How do you feel? Checking in. And using the breath to deepen that awareness. Noticing that when you focus on taking deeper breaths, you are grounded into the present moment. So letting that be your anchor, the breath to come back to throughout this class, throughout your day. Knowing that whatever you feel right now is temporary, it is going to shift as we move. Finding ujjayi breath if you haven't already slight constriction at the back of the throat, making the breath audible. One more breath here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. On your next inhale, gaze forward as you walk the fingers even farther forward. And then on the exhale, walk them over to the left. Maybe take the right hand on top and then let the head release back down to the mat. Really press back through your right hip and stretch the fingers as far away from the head as you can, deepening the stretch down the right side body. So you'll feel this into the lat, the serratus, the obliques, maybe even down into the glute. On your next inhale, walk back through center and switch sides. Walk the hands all the way over to the right. Take your left hand on top and then release the head back down. Again, press your left hip back, reach the fingers away from the head, breathing into the left side line. Beautiful, walk back through center. On the inhale, we're gonna come up to a table, or into a cat pose rather. Keep the round in the spine, draw the chin towards the chest. On the exhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze, and push the hips back to your child's. Good, so it's a rolling cat cow. We're reversing the breath. We normally do the opposite breath pattern and we do our cat cows. So maybe this will feel a little bit different in the body. Letting this feel good. Maybe you stay in pause in one place. You could close the eyes. Focus on moving through feeling, through sensation, rather than the aesthetic or what this shape looks like. Beautiful. Last one. Rolling it forward and now come to a tabletop and then start to drop the hips, lifting the feet off of the mat. So curling the heels in towards the glutes, pushing into the hands. If this is too much, you could always find a cobra. Think about lifting out of the waist, crown of the head to the sky, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Beautiful, one more in breath. On the exhale, start to send the hips back, tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Drop the head towards the mat and start to bend into one knee at a time. Noticing how the legs feel, hamstrings, calves, glutes, traction in the spine here. Lengthening through the posterior chain. Beautiful, on your next inhale, roll forward to a high plank, one vertebra at a time. 
On the exhale, lower all the way down onto the belly. Untuck the toes, take the hands wide in line with the shoulders, squeeze them together. On your inhale, lift all the way up, high cobra. On the exhale, drop the right shoulder down, gaze towards the left. Inhale to move through your center, and exhale, left shoulder down, gaze to the right. Good, inhale through center. On your exhale, release, tuck the toes. Inhale to a high plank, exhale to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, lift the heels. On the exhale, bend the knees to a hover and really push the hands into the mat to send the hips high. Good, inhale, stretch the legs up. Exhale, bend the knees to a hover. One more, inhale, stretch the legs. Exhale, bend the knees to a hover. Good, inhale, stretch the legs. On the exhale, walk the hands to the back of the mat, finding a rag doll or forward fold. Keep a bend in the knees and then hang over your legs holding opposite elbows or any arm variation that's calling your name right now. Continue to take deep breaths. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Beautiful, gently release the hands to the mat. On the inhale, roll all the way up to stand. Sweep the arms up at the top, gaze up. On the exhale, hands float through the heart center, forward fold. Good, two more like that. Inhale, roll up, sweep up. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Last one, inhale, roll it up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, walk it out, downward facing dog. On the exhale, bend the knees, push the hips back. On your next inhale, hop forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up to stand at the top. On the exhale, hands to the heart. Start to sit low into a tiny little squat and then sit all the way onto the ground. Walk the feet way forward, reach the fingers forward. We're gonna roll it down. Reach the arms overhead. Roll it all the way up. Pull sit up, reach the fingers forward, good. So starting with a little Pilates, roll up, warming up the core, one vertebra at a time. And can you think about lifting and lowering with the strength of your core? Getting a little hamstring stretch at the top, good, forward. Reach back, arms overhead. Couple more. Keep breathing. Slow and controlled. We got four. Three. Two. And a one, hold it forward, reach forward. Now rotate right arm back. Forward switch, left arm. Forward, good. So we're starting to wake up through our shoulders, our obliques. This is the transverse plane, and we twist side to side. Good, eight, seven, six. That feels amazing on my shoulders. Think about sliding the shoulder blade in towards the midline. All right, last one. Hold it forward. Now come up to neutral. Float the legs into a boat. Maybe reach the arms up overhead. Maybe straighten the legs all the way up. Hold. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath in. Breath out, cross the ankles, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Great work, inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths here, come back. Noticing what the breath feels like, what it looks like. Maybe the heart rate is elevated. If so, can you draw it back down? Last one, deep breath in, deep breath out. Beautiful. 
All right, push into the hands, walk the left foot towards the center of the mat, point the right toes towards the back. We're gonna lift and tap right leg. In three, two, one, right here, go up, down, lift, lower. You can keep a soft bend in your left knee if you need to. Lift, lower, or a deep bend if the hamstrings feel pretty tight. Think about squeezing your right glute as you lift it into your three-legged dog. Lift, lower, lift. Good, we got eight. Seven, six, we'll take this to a combo move. In four, we'll add a knee pull as we shift forward to a plank, then kick the leg back to a three-legged dog. Right, here we go. Kick back, knee in, kick back, knee in, kick back. Knee in, good. Really push into the hands and squeeze your right knee in towards your chest. That looks awesome. Couple more, we got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, stack the hip, open it up, wild thing. Drop the right foot behind, lift the hips, find a back bend. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Beautiful, come back, down dog. One, inhale, and exhale. All right, let's switch sides. Right foot steps to the center of the mat. Left toes point, lift up, up, and down. Three leg, tap. Whew, I still feel it in my right leg. Down, up, really push into your hands. Keep a soft bend in the elbows. Yes, up, down, lift, lower. Big squeeze, left glute. My glutes are definitely warming. Up, down, hope yours are too. Down, up, eight counts, eight. Six, we pull it in. Four, three, two, one. So it goes up, knee pull, up, knee pull, kick, pull, yes. Kick, pull, push into the hands a lot. Think about sliding the shoulder blades away from the midline. Kick, pull, that will give you more space to pull the knee into the chest. Yes, four counts, four, three, two, one. Hold it high, three-legged, bend the knee, stack the hip, and then open it to your wild thing. Push the hips to the sky, keep the right leg straight, left heel lifted, take an in-breath, and an out-breath. Good, one more inhale. On the exhale, then we're facing dog. Beautiful, next inhale, roll forward. Exhale first, chaturanga, shift forward and halfway down. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath, in through the nose, out through the nose. If you need to clear through the mouth at any time in class to let go of extra heat, go ahead and do so. Last breath, inhale. Exhale. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up to stand. On the exhale, lean back, baby back bend. Good, inhale, reach back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or float, chaturanga. You choose how you get back to down dog. Whatever that looks like for you is perfect. One more breath, inhale, exhale. Next, inhale, lift the heels, exhale, step or close. Inhale, halfway, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up to stand, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, lean back, open the heart. Inhale, reach up, exhale, forward fold. Halfway, step or float, chaturanga. Up dog, 
down dog. Three breaths. Long, slow, deep. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway. Forward fold. Chair pose, bend the knees, keep the arms to the sky. Exhale to sit low. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale, Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Right leg to the sky, step it forward, press and lunge, sweep up, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, Chaturanga, cartwheel the hands down. Up dog, down dog. Left leg lifts. Step forward, inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Beautiful, deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, pull the knee into the nose and then step the right foot forward. Drop the left knee down. Inhale to lift into a low lunge. Sweep the fingers up to the sky. Square the hips to the top of the mat. Keep the left toes tucked for this. So we're gonna move all the way back to a half splits. Lift the right leg, all right? We'll start with a pulse here. In three, two, one, so a little pulse down. Big stretch, left hip flexor. You're gonna feel it in your right glute, right quad. Good. Pulse, pulse. If it helps, you could take the hands to the thigh or down to the ground. Totally depends where your body is at today. Beautiful, all right. We're gonna send it back. Three, two, one, so we go. Hands plant, send it back, lift the right leg. Step forward, sink as low as you can into your lunge again. Send it back. Lift the right leg, reach it forward. Low lunge, good. So you're finding that compression. Right femur into the hip socket. Flex the foot and lift your right leg up. It can only be a centimeter, maybe half a centimeter off of the mat. Still a great place to be. This is really challenging. Lift. Lower, up, good, all right. We're gonna make our way back to a pistol squat soon. Next time we're there. All right, from here, you can let the right foot drop down. Walk the hands back. Sit your glute onto the left heel. Keep the left heel lifted. Lift the right leg with the hands on the mat. Option to stay right here, or maybe one hand lifts, the other hand lifts, hold. Lots of wobbling. Right foot could also go down. All right, we're switching sides. In four, three, two, one. Beautiful, walk it forward, step back, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, left leg. Inhale, exhale, pull it in, step it. Right knee drops, keep the toes tucked. Reach the fingers up, pulse the hips right here. Dip, dip. So big stretch, right hip flexor. I know it feels amazing for my body. I've been sitting and editing a lot when you're doing my website. So anytime you sit a lot, your hip flexors are just contracted that whole time. Good, dip, dip. Again, your options, hands at the thigh or hands on the ground. Dip, dip. Core engaged, couple more, four, Three, two, one. All right, you know where we're going. Plant the hands, shift the hips back, lift the left leg, shift it forward, shift it back, lift. Whew. That is spicy. Flex the left foot as you lift. And again, protract the shoulders. So slide them away from the midline. It will give you more room to lift the leg. Engage the core. 
So right, we're almost at the stall. Next time we're there. All right, drop the foot back down, send the hips back, lift the right knee, lift the left foot, squeeze the inner thighs together. One hand, maybe both hands at the heart. This side is my stronger side. Maybe you're same or opposite. Gaze at one point. We're here for four, three, two, one. Drop the foot, shift forward, step back, chaturanga. Up dog, to downward facing dog. Beautiful, deep breath in, deep breath out. Couple more, inhale, exhale. Anytime we're in down dog, take a moment to pause. Feel your breath, feel your body on the mat. Come back to you. What can you let go of in this moment that is holding you back? One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Next inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, step or float. Top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose. Bend the knees, sweep the arms up to the sky. On the exhale, pulse low. Great, send the weight back into the heels. Engage the core. Reach the fingers high. Maybe you can lift the toes off the mat. Yeah. Dip, dip. We got four. We're gonna stand, pull one knee into the chest at a time. We'll start with the right knee. Right here, so we go up, back to chair, lift to right, back to chair, good. So it's a squat to a single leg of balance. Now we're strengthening our hip flexors. If arms up is too much, you could always go hands to heart. Yes. Beautiful. We got eight, seven, six, five, four. We'll hold the left knee up. Three, two, one. Hold the left knee up. Kick it back. Find a warrior three. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Again, inhale. Exhale, option hands to heart, that's your modification. One more, inhale, exhale. Draw the hands to the heart center, open up to a half moon just for a moment. Kick the left leg long, flex the foot, stack left shoulder on top of right. Breath in, breath out. One more, inhale, exhale, fold top of the mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Good, chair pose, inhale to sweep up. Exhale, pulse, dip, dip, dip. Toes light, core engaged, good. I feel my booty burning, my quads, my thighs. Eight counts, eight, seven, six, five. We go back that side to side. We'll start right knee in four, three, two, one. So a little squat, lift. Squat, lift, hands to heart. If you need to, focus on sitting low and digging the heel into the mat as you stand. Eight, seven, six, five, four. We hold right knee up, three, Two, and one, hold it up, float. Warrior three, just hold. Square the hips, reach the fingers forward. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out, hold it. Push into your left big toe. Last breath, inhale, exhale. Draw the hands to the heart, left hand down, right arm opens. Find your half moon, flex the right foot, stack the hips, stack the shoulders, lift up, maybe gaze up, deep breath in, exhale, fold forward, great work, halfway, step, float, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog, I am starting to sweat, deep breath in, 
deep breath out. Couple more here, in through the nose, out through the nose. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Next, inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, draw the right knee to the right elbow. Take it all the way over to the left elbow, back to the right for four, three, two, one. Step the right foot forward, inhale, crescent, high lunge. Sweep the arms up to the sky. Keep a soft bend in the back knee. Reach the fingers up. Think about lengthening crown of the head to the sky. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Beautiful, all right, we're gonna lift the right heel, go. Up, down, lift, lower. So we're holding in the body, stabilizing. And then we're just lifting the right heel. It's gonna challenge your balance. Gaze at one point if you feel really wobbly. If you still feel wobbly, widen the feet side to side. So if you have a wider base, you're less likely to balance. Good. Down, up. Whoo. Legs on fire. Four counts. Four. Three. Heel stays up. We pulse. In two. In one. Heel stays up. Little dip. Down. Down. Dip. Dip. All right. From here, we're going to lean forward. Put the hands on the ground. Find a standing split. So if you need a block, grab a block. Four counts. We're there. Four. We'll drop the heel. Three. Two, one, drop the heel, plant the hands down, kick the left leg up to a standing split, left foot lands, find your lunge, good again. Kick the leg up, find your lunge. So it's kind of like a seesaw hinge action. You're rooting down, stabilizing through the right foot. Your right glute's gonna talk to you. Maybe left knee taps to the ground when you come back to your crescent. Four, three, we'll jump back to a one-legged chaturanga. Right here, plant the hands where your standing splits, top right foot back. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Great work, deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, left leg, exhale, pull it, left knee, left elbow, over to the right, to the left. For four, three, two, one, step forward, inhale, crescent, sweep up, square the hips, find your balance, set up your alignment, left heel lifts, right here, get it, up, down, lift, lower, good, up. So for this, your back leg is mostly straight, there's a soft in the knee as always, keeping that joint safe, lift, lower. Try to sit low, challenge yourself. Yes, down, up, down, up. All right, we keep it lifted. Little dips right here, dip, 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 dip. Core engaged, eight counts, eight, six. We find that standing splits in four, three, two, one. Drop the heel, hands plant, kick the leg, Back to lunge, kick up, lunge, kick up, lunge, Woo. left leg, hello. Try to have control here as you lower and as you lift back to your lunge. Final push, last one, and then jump it back. Up dog, downward facing dog. Great work, inhale, exhale. Child's pose at any time if you need it. Otherwise, just slow your breath down. In through the nose, out through the mouth if you need to clear. Last one, big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, step forward. 
crescent lunge. Warrior two. Straighten the right leg parallel to the feet. Take the hands behind the head, hinge down. Up. So we're going to a wide-legged forward fold with hands behind the head. So it's sort of like a wide, good morning shape. Lots of stability in the legs. Good. Core engaged, chest broad, down and up. And think about sitting your glutes back, down, up. So they move back in space. Legs stay straight, yeah. Down, up, lower, lift, keep going. Down, up, lower, lift. All right, we're gonna add to this. We're gonna go to a side lunge in between. So we go down, up, side lunge, right? Straight in. Down, up, side lunge, straight in. Good. If hands behind the head, feels a little bit too hard, hands travel to the heart. Good. Lunge, stand, hinge, lift. Oh my God. Hamstrings. Hello. Hinge. Lift. Left. Stand. Really important to keep your core engaged anytime we do a hinge movement because the core is supporting the back as we hinge. Good. Keep going. These longer sequences are endurance, right? We're pushing our muscles to their limit. And with body weight, we can go pretty hard, especially with this type of thing. So try to stay really focused and engaged. Feel every muscle working. Down, up, and move with control. Right, we're keeping somewhat of a pace so that our heart rate lifts but we're not moving so fast that momentum is doing the work. Muscles doing the work. Down, up, good. Bend, straighten, down, up. All right, hold the side lunge, skandasana, hands to heart. You could lift the right heel if your hips aren't open like mine. No problem with that. Left leg goes long, flex the foot if you need to. Hands down on the ground. Maybe some of you have the right heel down. I'm jealous. I don't know if my hips will ever do that. That's okay though. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, we're going to the other side. You can plant the hands on the way. Left foot lifts, right leg goes long. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more. Beautiful, from here across Arita. Wide-legged forward fold just for a moment. Send the outside edges of the, edges of the feet down into the mat. Let the head hang heavy. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, find it halfway. Exhale, turn to the top of the mat. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. All right, next inhale, shift forward, high plank. We'll do some plank work, option to drop the knees. Right foot, or right hand rather, steps out, and then back in, and then left hand. So we're just walking to a wide plank. Lots of core stabilization, lots of shoulder stabilization. We'll eventually add on to this, but this is where we start. And your modification is to drop to the knees, walk out, walk out, good. All right, let's add on, full step. One foot outside of the hand, right foot. So we walk the right hand out, step the right foot out, then we'll open up to a twist. Right arm lifts to the sky, lean back. Plant the right hand back in center now in your regular plank, step back, switch sides. Left hand walks out, left foot steps. Open up to your twist. Plant the left hand back in center, step back again. Right hand, step. Open, hand down, step. Left hand, step. Open, 
step, good. So you walk the hand out first, so it's always your first move. And then you're walking into a wide, lizard-esque low lunge. Good, push into the hands, engage the core. You got this. Couple more. And we're gonna keep right foot out in four, three, two, one. Right foot out, open the right arm, tap the left knee in, then out. So right hand, left knee, little oblique crunch. Yes. Left hand is stabilizing. Last one. Switch sides, right hand down, right foot back, left hand out, left foot out, open. Let's tap it, right here, go. In, in, whoo, definitely feel that in my obliques. Hope you do too. I have my toes turned out. If yours feel better facing forward, go ahead, facing forward. Push into your right hand, and again, control this movement with your core. Last one, left hand down, left foot back, push-ups down and up. Lower and lift. Feel free to take these from the knees. Gaze forward wherever you are. Engage your core. One more. Good, downward facing dog. Woo. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, let it go. My arms are feeling like jello. All right, drop down to the knees. Let's lay onto our right side. We're gonna do some Pilates glute work. So, we'll lay all the way down. Take a little nap. Just kidding, this will be challenging, but fun. Bottom knee bent, right knee bent, left leg long, point the toes. Left hand in front for more stability. You want more of a challenge, left hand behind the head or at the hip. I'm going for stability today. We lift straight up, lift, lower, up, down. You'll also feel this slightly in your core. Lift, lower. And I want you to feel it in your glute, your outer thigh. Lift, lower, good, up, up. Already challenging. I find these side lying sequences really hard, really effective for glutes and hip strength. Lift, lower. We got eight, seven, six. Try to keep your torso pretty still here. Four counts. Three tiny pulses at your highest point. In two, in one, right here. Little lift, little lift. Woo, yep. Definitely feeling that, <laughs> a little lift. Up, up, up. All right, we're gonna drive the left knee into the left elbow, then kick it out long, right here. In, out, in, out. So this more core work, you should feel your top obliques as you pull the knee in. More challenging, like I said, hand behind the head. In, out, woo! In, out, you got this, I know you do. In, out, all right, we're gonna keep it long. Tiny kick back right here, go, kick, kick. Like you're trying to kick something behind you. Eventually, we're gonna roll onto our back, land with the left foot down, right leg up, in a one-legged bridge. In four, in three, in two, in one, all right, reset. Lay down on your back. Left foot down, right leg straight up. Lift the hips up, down, lift, lower. All right, one-legged bridge. Dig your left heel into the mat, lift, lower. And think about squeezing your left glute as you lift. Four more. Before we keep it lifted, we're gonna lower the right leg down into in one, right here, hips lifted, lower, in line with the knee, and lift, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, Woo. 
Ooh, lots of stabilizing. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it long, little pulse. Lift, whoo, who lift, who lift. Oh my goodness. We got eight, six. Hip stay up, we drive the knee into the chest, then back the diagonal, right here. In, out, in. All right, now working through right side, core. In, out, yes, in, out. Oh my goodness. Eight counts, you got this. Eight, six, we switch sides in four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, draw the knees into the chest for a moment, take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Good, roll up to a seat, sweep the feet around to the other side. Let's lay all the way onto our left. So head onto left bicep, bottom knee bent, top leg long. Either right hand in front at your hip, find your head, lift the leg up, go up, down, lift, lower. Woo! Happy to be on side two. Halfway done with the sequence. We got this. Lift, lower. Again, try to stabilize through the upper body. Lift the right leg. Yeah, up, down, lift, lower. Deep breaths. Stay with me. I know you can do it. Up, up, all right. Little pulses. Three, two, one, right here. A little lift, little lift. Your highest point, whatever that looks like. Doesn't have to look the same as me. We drive the knee in, in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go in, out, in, out. So it's in, then kick. In, then kick. Whoo! In, out, yes. In, out. All right, we hold it. Pulse it back. In three, two, one, hold it, go. Kick, kick, little squeeze, squeeze. All right, you know where we're going. One-legged bridge. In four, three, two, one. Roll onto your back. Plant your right foot, left leg up, hips up, lift, lower, lift, lower, hips up, hips down, hips up, hips down, good, lift, 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 eight counts, eight, seven, six, then we lower the leg in four, Three, two, and one, hips up, lower, down, up. Yes, you're just lowering so that the knees are in one line. Good, lift. Your hips stay up this whole time if you can. If you need to drop them, you could always drop them. Good, we got eight, seven, six, five, knee pulls, in four, three, two, one, hold it, low pull, in, kick long, in, kick long, squeeze, left side, in, out, yes, almost there, almost there, in, out, drive, kick, last push, last four, three, two, one, oh my goodness, Great work. All right, draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. I'm feeling my right glute. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Beautiful, rock up to a seat. Cross the ankles, plant the hands. Step to a tabletop, hands and knees. And then we'll kick the right leg out long in line with the hip. Plant the foot all the way down on the ground and then bend into the right knee and extend the right leg. 
Good, so working into the hip, opening up through the inner thigh. We are almost done with glass. We will finish with core after this little stretch. Switch a little bit more, take Shavasana, home stretch. So in these moments when you know we're almost done with class, it's really easy to check out. I know I do it. So can you be mindful that you stay present? Remembering that these moments of softness, of stretch, are just as important as any of the harder sequences that we do. Beautiful, keep the legs straight. Left hand stays planted on your inhale, lift the right arm open to a twist. On the exhale, thread it underneath, maybe tap the right shoulder on the mat. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, thread it through, maybe tap. Our society always rewards the harder way, the more challenging, the more hardworking, the more strenuous activity, when really we need a balance of both. Beautiful, release the right hand down, we'll switch sides. Left foot goes out, and then just bend, extend. And it's really liberating when we allow ourselves to tap in to that softness. Because for some of us, maybe we've never really tapped into it or let ourselves experience it. And a lot of times you'll find that it's harder than doing the hard stuff. The slowing down is harder. The feeling is harder. But can you stay here with it? Can you be in it right now? Because you're here for a reason. You made the choice to be here. So can you experience everything that, that it comes with? All right, open the left arm, find a big twist, and then thread it underneath. Maybe the left foot slides out a little bit more to let you get lower, finding a deep twist. Couple more. Last one. Beautiful. And then release the left hand back down. Drop the left knee down to the ground. Sweep the feet forward. We're gonna lay onto our back. A little bit more core work to finish out this practice. Knees to a tabletop, interlace the fingers, take the hands to the right shin, kick the left leg long, single leg stretch. Right here, go. Left, right, left, right. So this will feel great on the hip flexors. Right, left. Option, stay here or lift head, neck, and shoulders. Three. Two, one, go. Left, right. Chin away from the chest. Belly button towards the spine. Yeah. Good. Left, right. Left, right. Woo. Almost there. Eight counts. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Left knee stays in. We're going to hover. The right foot, excuse me, other side, Le right knee stays in, left foot hovers right here. Right knee and left foot hovers. Kick it out towards the left and then kick it all the way over to the right. Kick it left, kick it right. Woo! Kick it left, kick it right. The last one. Kick it left, kick it right, side to side, left, right. Maybe let the head relax for a few. And left, right. Eight counts, eight, six, right foot stays long, side to side, four, three, two, and one, hold it, kick it, go, right, left, right, left, try to stabilize through the rest of the body, keep it still, yeah, right, left, right, Left, all right, we're gonna finish with a single straight leg stretch. Four counts, four, three, right leg in two, in one, get it. Right, left, right, left, all right, stretch for the hamstrings. Still working through the core, right, left, yes. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful work. Drop it down, knees over to the left, gaze towards the right, find a twist. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Let it go. Two more breaths like that. In through the nose, out through the mouth to clear, and then find your ujjayi breath once again. Beautiful. Let's move back through center and switch sides. Knees over to the right, gaze towards the left. Long, slow, deep breaths. Again, embrace the softness. Embrace the feeling of nothing. Of simply being. Not nothing. Of just being here. And whatever that brings up. Come back through center. Draw the knees in towards the chest. And then let's find a happy baby. Knees wide, soles the feet to the sky. Let the head be heavy, chin in line with the chest, lengthening through the spine, including the cervical spine or the back of the neck. You can rock side to side, you can close the eyes. You do you here. What does your body call for? Can you listen to it, honor it? Draw the knees back in towards the chest. Give yourself a squeeze and then rock up to a seat. Cross the ankles, bend the hands. Step back, downward facing dog. Send the hips to the sky. Let the head hang heavy. Traction the spine. Lift the tailbone to the sky as you drop the heels towards the mat. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. On your in breath, right leg to sky. On the exhale, pigeon, right shin across the top of the mat. Come down onto your right hip. Block or small pillow is great if your hips are feeling tight. Walk yourself forward when you're ready, leaning over your right thigh, letting the head rest on the hands, letting the shoulders relax. You could even stretch the arms out long. Deep breath. And notice that in these moments of stillness in the body, the mind might try to work over time. If so, remind it to come back to its breath. Come back to your breath. Come back to that feeling of focusing on the breath so much that it grounds you into the present moment. That you have no choice but to be present. On your inhale, come back up. And we'll sweep the left foot forward for a little side stretch. So left foot goes out, right foot to left inner thigh. Reach left hand down towards the left foot. Reach the right arm over the head, a big stretch. Roll the chest to the sky. Take an inhale and an exhale. On your inhale, lift up. Plant the right hand outside of the right hip. Come onto the right knee. Lift the left leg and find a little back bend. Open the left arm. Come back all the way down, left hand to left foot, reach over, and then inhale to lift, find your back bend. One more. And lift. Beautiful.
beautiful. Lowering back down, turning towards the top of the mat, tucking left toes and the hips back. Left leg lifts and pigeon. Left shin across the top of the mat. Reach the right leg back and then walk yourself down over the left leg. And again, letting yourself soften over the left leg. Notice if you're clenching your jaw. If so, can you let that go? And slow, deep breaths. On your inhale, come on up. And then sweep the right foot forward. Left foot to right inner thigh. Right hand reaches down. Left arm sweeps by the ear, big side bend. And then use an inhalation to come up. Plant the left hand, sweep right arm by the ear as you push the hips forward. And lower, reach for the right foot. Find your flow. Let this feel good. Last one. Beautiful. And then we'll sweep both feet forward. And just find a forward fold. Reach the fingers up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. Slight bend in the knees. On the exhale, hinge forward. Reach the fingers anywhere along the legs. And then fold over the legs. Inhale to come up and exhale to lower onto your back for Shavasana. You can go supta, bada, feet together, knees wide or traditional or legs up the wall. Lay the head back, open the arms to the sides. Close the eyes and come back to that feeling of softness. That feeling of simply being here, being present. The sensation of nothing. Remembering that if your mind wanders, you can use your breath to bring it back. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. 
Slide your knees together if they are wide. Draw them in towards the chest or find a full body stretch. And then roll over onto one side. Press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Sit up tall. As always, if you want to stay in Shavasana longer, pause the video, stay. Draw the hands to the heart center. Close the eyes back down for a moment. And in this moment, can you call in what you're grateful for in your life, in your practice, in your body, whatever it is right here, right now. If you didn't already include yourself in that feeling of gratitude, go ahead and include yourself. Be grateful for the choice that you made to show up on your mat today. We'll take a final breath together. On your next inhale, take a big breath in, hold at the top. Sip in a little bit more, then a little bit more, then that last little bit. And then exhale, sigh, let it go. Blink the eyes open. Thank you so, so much for being here with me today. This practice felt so good in my body. I hope it is in yours too. As always, please let me know down below if you did like this class, give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps to support me. And I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. If you wanna download my app, so many more classes, practices over there. I will put a link down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.